Peace, greetings. This is Cyberspace Ministry. This is Black Light, aka Professor Soul School Phenomenal, aka <clears throat> Flave Supreme. <clears throat> Excuse me while I clear my throat. This is the Cyberspace Ministry of the Universal Supreme Council of the Elders. And um, we quickly going to get into the subject matter that um, I've been speaking on. The black woman is Allah too. Uh, quickly, you say, well, what about the uh, rest of the women? Well, <clears throat> if you heard of directly and indirectly. Okay, directly... <clears throat> The black woman is Allah too. And indirectly, all the other are Allah's. Yeah, we all are <clears throat> rooted in Allah, the all in all. But some are by way of indirectly rooted, being that they come from the original the original man and woman or the original human beings the aboriginal human beings of the planet earth and the rest are uh, from us and the last one that's derived from the aboriginal black man and woman is the Caucasian. Now, <clears throat> in my previous videos, we, we are describing from scripture, uh, especially the Bible, mostly the Bible, of... Uh, how God or Allah created man in his own image. We refer to <clears throat> God, <clears throat> which y'all call God as being uh, Allah. And uh, Allah, from my understanding of the message of Allah, which we say is the most honorable Elijah Muhammad, which he derived his teachings from Allah who came in the person of Master Farah Muhammad. That's a statement in itself. So we was uh, talking about the black woman is Allah too. And Meaning there's a feminine principle to our lot and a masculine principle. See, our law, from my beliefs, evolves himself, is self creating, and the feminine principle of Allah is that which helps manifest or is that which borns uh, both masculine and feminine that wraps itself in the flesh and the flesh is from the earth and the earth we call mother earth which is also our law, which is also the feminine principle, which is also woman. They get their nourishment from the universe, directly and indirectly, 
just as all others are grafted from the original man directly into it. Now, we're not going to get too deep off into that, the metaphysics of that and to the teachings of the Most Honorable Elijah Muhammad. But it is my knowing from uh, just using common sense and logic, logic and deduction that the black woman is our law too. Because she is known as the original, the original, uh, aboriginal, uh, mother of all civilizations. You see, mother of all human beings. And her roots, the black woman here in America roots directly goes back to the uh, Aboriginal and all others indirectly goes back to the original which is our law you know so um, just like a baby go through different stages which is a testimony of the fact that everything evolves in degrees and in stages even wisdom is acquired in degrees and knowledge is acquired, acquired in degrees and stages so we all are evolved into degrees and stages. And uh, the black woman is somehow uh, is incomplete now. And so is the black man. We have been incompleted through the mental separation of this world that we're living in that deliberately goes out to separate the black man, thus separating the elders from the young, the young from the elders, the woman from the man, and the man from the woman. And you have no more uh, functional families. You say, well, if Allah is all in all, how can, if he's all knowing and all seeing and you know, how is this possible? Well, this is all to develop perfection uh, and to strengthen and to prove that Allah is Allah. And just like the story of a champion uh, let's say Rocky for example uh, Sylvester Stallone and Rocky the reason why that's a, so much of a popular uh, story because Sylvester Stallone was knocked down a hundred times in the course of a fight he was beat up sometimes he lost but he kept coming back until he became champion. Now he is the undisputed champion. He, all contenders, has been done away with. You see, the story of Muhammad Ali is even better because it's 
not a uh, fictitious story, it's reality. Ali uh, he was knocked out, beat up. Hold on. So I'm back, you know, and uh, I hope I didn't lose my thought or lose my place where I was uh, at. I had to put it on pause right quick. But uh, we are uh, talking about Muhammad Ali and the reason why they call him the greatest because not only was he a champion outside the ring, he was a champion inside the ring as well. He took on all contenders and he uh, had some brutal battles, but he came out victorious to be known as the greatest of all time. That's the attributes of Allah that he was displaying. The attributes of Allah. And uh, right now, we're being challenged to a duel by one who wants to be uh, as great as Allah. So, uh, we're going to see who's going to be the champion. So we got the last one grafted from us to be our contender. A contender is really like an enemy. And some contenders are friendly and some are actually, you know, unfriendly. And uh, in this case, our contender wants to destroy us and our family structure because he knows that uh, if he don't, then it might not be, he might not survive. But what he don't know is that if he destroy us, he definitely won't survive because he's the last one to come out the original and if you destroy the original that's it man because grafted only has a certain uh, time period to be manifested it's really not the truth it's the illusion you know the truth is rea what's real. I mean, we ain't going to get off into that right now. But that's a proven fact. And But he knows this. Deep down inside. But he can't help himself. You know? So, uh, getting back to the black woman, She's been miseducated and uneducated into this fact because she's the first one that we get our nourishment from. So we're going to come back with one more. And it's going to be the conclusion. Black Light Out.